ease. I'm not afraid of anyone in show business. I turned down intercourse with Harvey Weinstein on no less than three occasions out of five. I know how former lovers can have a hold over you long after they're gone. In some ways, I'm still pinned under a passed out Harvey Weinstein and it's Thanksgiving. Congratulations, you five ladies no longer have to pretend to be attracted to Harvey Weinstein. <laughs> Well, there you go. That uh, it just appears to be Hollywood's worst kept secret as evidenced by the jokes you heard there on 30 Rock. And during the 2013, 2013 Oscar nominations, the number of Hollywood actresses coming forward now with accusations of sexual misconduct against Harvey Weinstein continues to grow, with some now claiming the former film ex executive sexually assaulted them. The new allegations emerged yesterday in back-to-back -back reports in the New York Times and New Yorker magazine. In the Times follow-up, actresses Gwyneth Paltrow and Angelina Jolie both revealed that Weinstein allegedly harassed them. Paltrow described Weinstein's alleged attempt to lure her when she was 22 years old into giving him a massage in a hotel room. Jolie, meanwhile, told the Times in an email that she, quote, had a bad experience with Harvey Weinstein in my youth and as a result chose never to work with him again and warn others when they did. Meanwhile, in a report for The New Yorker, NBC News contributing correspondent Ronan Farrow revealed that he was told by 13 women that Weinstein either harassed or sexually assaulted them between the 1990s and 2015. Three women told Farrow that Weinstein had forced himself on them. The magazine also released the following audio recording. It says is of Weinstein trying to persuade a model to come into his hotel room in 2015. I'm feeling very uncomfortable right Please now. Please come in now, and one minute, and if you want to leave, when the guy comes with my jacket, Why yesterday you, you touched my wrist? Oh, please, I'm sorry, just come on, I'm used to that. Come on. Are you used please. to that? Yes, come in. Because no, but I'm not used to that. I won't do it again. Come on, sit here. Sit here for a minute, please. No, I don't want to. If you do this now, you will embarrass me. But no, I never call me again. Sorry, I, I promise you I won't do anything. But I know, but yes, there was too the much. Coming. I will never do another thing to you. Five minutes. Don't ruin your friendship with me for five minutes. Don't ruin your friendship with me for five minutes. Five minutes of what exactly? That was reported in the NYPD sting, but Weinstein was not criminally charged. Amid all the new allegations against Harvey Weinstein, the board of directors at his former company released a statement that read in part, these allegations are antithetical to human decency. These allegations come as an utter surprise to the board. Any suggestion that the board had knowledge of this conduct is false. Meanwhile, former Walt Disney Company CEO Michael Eisner, who bought Miramax from Harvey and Bob Weinstein in 1993, tweeted out yesterday, fired Weinsteins because they were irresponsible and Harvey was an incorrigible bully, had no idea he was capable of these horrible actions. And former President Obama and former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton both denounced Weinstein yesterday after facing mounting criticism for remaining quiet about the noted Democratic donors' alleged actions. In a statement, Mr. Obama wrote, Michelle and I have been disgusted by the recent reports about Harvey Weinstein. Any man who demeans and degrades women in such fashion needs to be condemned and held accountable regardless of wealth or status. We should celebrate the courage of women who have come forward to tell these painful stories. And we all need to build a culture, including by empowering our girls and teaching our boys decency and respect so we can make such behavior less prevalent in the future. Mrs. Clinton said, I was shocked and appalled by the revelations about Harvey Weinstein. The behavior described by women coming forward cannot be tolerated. Their courage and the support of others is critical in helping to stop this kind of behavior. As the fallout continues to mount, Weinstein has reportedly checked himself into rehab. And his spokesman says of the latest claims any allegations of non-consensual sex are unequivocally denied by Mr. Weinstein, adding that he did not retaliate against women who rejected his advances. This, as People magazine reports, that his wife of a decade has announced that she is separating from him. <laughs> Willie.
Um, I think as the floodgates have opened here, we have to stop and, and give credit to the first ones. Absolutely. Because that's the hardest thing to do, to be the first one. Yeah. Step yeah. off that ledge. Ashley Judd, Rose McGowan, and frankly, you, Mika, were one of the first people who came out and said, I'm not going to be in business with this company. Your book deal, putting it on hold. That's the hardest thing to do, and it's a little bit easier to come in after somebody's broken through the gate. So I applaud all the people who stepped out first. I think also the Gwyneth Paltrow case is very instructive because when you think about it, she wasn't a big star yet when right. this allegedly happened, but she was dating Brad Pitt. Her father was a high-profile producer, director. Yeah. Her, her godfather was Steven Spielberg. In other words, she, was, she had access to power in Hollywood, and she, even she felt, I can't cross this man because I'm worried about my career. So imagine what less powerful women in Hollywood felt as he as he And that them. tape, my God. I mean, he is clearly in that tape, Joe, um, overwhelming and pushy and boorish. And, and the NYPD, I mean, this, yeah. this again, had, had gotten so far that the NYPD was trying to do a sting on this guy. And I'm sorry, uh, but if you're on the Weinstein board, if you are close friends with Harvey Weinstein and 30 Rock is making, jokes. is making jokes about him sexually pushing himself on women, they're making jokes at the Academy Awards. I I'm sorry, I how, how could you work alongside this guy for so many years and not know what's going on. Jessica, Jessica Chastain sang the other day that the second she got into the business, she was warned about it. Everybody, this was such an open secret in show business that, Willie, I want to go back to a point you made. I mean, it's shocking. And it's shocking that all of these people in Hollywood knew for so long. And yet, Willie, it was Ashley Judd and Rose McGowan that came out. And I'm sorry, the longer you waited to come out, yeah. uh, the, 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 the less, the, 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 I, the more disappointed uh, the people should be in you. I mean, it, it took, you'll remember, you're right, Mika spoke out immediately on, on Saturday, yeah. said, I will lose a ton of money in this book deal because I'm not going to be associated with him. But you had all of these stars that had made tens of millions of dollars with Harvey Weinstein that refused to come out. Some of them waiting until yesterday after, as you said, the floodgates had already opened up, which showed they were still afraid of Harvey Weinstein. Well, they wanted to see how this was gonna play out. What if Harvey survives? Am I gonna have to work with Harvey again? And so again, I think as is the case, it's very difficult to come out and be the first one to talk about this thing, to admit something like this that can feel shameful to women happened to you and that maybe you didn't say something about it earlier as Ashley Judd said. So I want to applaud the courage of those women and I hope, I hope it gives courage yeah. to other women in other fields who are facing this kind of thing and have found it difficult to speak up and to know that when they do speak up, they'll have the support of other women and other men in their workplace, in their home, wherever it is they're experiencing this. And it's also, Joe, a, an age-old story about the issues of status, power, clout, and, f and money in America that can separate you from consequences. The NYPD, the New York Police Department, had enough to go forward with a case on Harvey Weinstein. They had tape, they had motive, they had repetitive behavior, and somehow that got shut down when it went on the way to the Manhattan District Attorney's Office. I'm not clear exactly what has happened, but Harvey Weinstein used and abused the status he had, the clout that he had as a result of his status, and the status that he had with regard well, to the fact and, that he had a lot of money. And, mm -hmm. and, and by the way, I don't, I don't know the Manhattan DA personally, Cy Vance, obviously. Everybody looked up to his father. I don't know him that well, but I saw that Yet again, we had a contribution, reported that a contribution from Weinstein's lawyer made it to Cy Vance. The case went away, which is what we were reporting on the Ivanka and Don Jr. case just a couple of weeks ago, right. where Trump's lawyer gave money to Cy Vance. The case went away. They refunded the money and then turned around after the charges against Don Jr. and Ivanka uh, were, were, were not uh, pursued. 
not pursued, despite the fact other prosecutors w thought they should have been pursued, and then they wrote a check to Cy Vance. I want to know, wh wh where's the reporting on these stories? I mean, is this, I, I can't believe, and by the way, Mika, I can't believe yeah. I'm this naive. I can't believe that in 2017, this is how justice is actually performed in Manhattan. Mm. I, I, I want to know, I want to know, I want to know about these contributions to this DA and charge and, 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 thing, and, and charges not being pursued against Harvey Weinstein. Is it really that easy in 2017 to write a check? to a DA and you get charges dropped? I mean, this is out of The Simpsons. This is out of like Mayor Quimby. This is a joke, Mika. It is, um, and there's a, a, a lot of questions about why it took so long. I mean, this is the kind of story with the kind of evidence and even the kind of admission from Harvey himself that demands, requires, obviously calls for an immediate reaction on the part of politicians, former candidates and people in Hollywood. And they all left Ashley Judd and Rose McGowan hanging for a week. It's, it's beyond me. But uh, to the points that you two were making, the Manhattan District Attorney's Office said it would have attempted to prosecute Weinstein if the NYPD had coordinated the matter with them. Their statement reads in part, if we could have prosecuted Harvey Weinstein for the conduct that occurred in 2015, we would have. Mr. Weinstein's pattern of mistreating women, as recounted in recent reports, is disgraceful and shocks the conscience. After the complaint was made in 2015, the NYPD, without our knowledge or input, arranged a controlled call and meeting between the complainant and Mr. Weinstein. The seasoned prosecutors in our sex crimes unit were not afforded the opportunity before the meeting to counsel investigators <laughs> on what was necessary to capture in order to prove a misdemeanor sex crime. While the recording is horrifying to listen to, what emerged from the audio was insufficient to prove a crime under New York law, which requires prosecutors to establish criminal intent. Subsequent investigative steps undertaken in order to establish intent <coughs> were not su successful. I'm, that's curious. This coupled with uh, other proof issues meant that there was no choice but to conclude the investigation without criminal charges. The NYPD issued its own statement saying the case was carried out by experienced detectives and supervisors from NYPD's Special Victims Unit. The detectives used well-established investigative techniques. The recorded conversation with the subject corroborates the acts that were the basis for the victim's complaint to the police a day earlier. This follow-up recorded conversation was just one aspect of the case against the subject. This evidence, along with other statements and timeline information, was wow. presented to the office of the Manhattan District Attorney. And, and Joe, who had Harvey Weinstein admitting, yeah. I won't do it again, his acts from the day before, admitting what he did and said he was used to it. And, and again, I, I just, we keep hearing stories of the Manhattan DA getting checks from lawyers of. Trumps or Weinsteins and not pursuing charges. Where's the New York Times story on that? No, it's Where, where's the Wall story Street right Journal now. story on that? Where is the story on this? Why, why did we read about the Trumps a couple of weeks ago and, and, and that exchange for checks to Cy Van? I want his, his face needs to be on the front page of the New York Times on the Trump case and the Weinstein case. And who knows, maybe he's innocent. But it, it, it does not, uh, it does not look good. Yeah, and In by the way, these you, cases. you couldn't catch this predator on tape. You've got to be kidding me. Keystone. Co I mean, well, they caught him on tape, Mika. Mika. They I know, but you couldn't. You you couldn't get any more from him. Are you kidding me? Hey, Bar you had to close hey, this. Hey, Barnacle, tell me. Barnacle, tell me. What were we reading in between the lines in that NYPD statement? Oh, please. Well, there's there's a two tier justice system here. I mean, the, the SVU knows it. Uh, your average citizen knows it, and Harvey Weinstein know, knew it. I mean, he's on tape that we just played saying, "quote I won't do it again." to one of his victims, mm -hmm. please come on in, unquote. 
if it was a building superintendent named Joe Harvey instead of Harvey Weinstein, he would have had the cuffs put on him that afternoon. Well, coming up, in July of last year, the president told reporters he had a, quote, absolutely great meeting with national security advisors. We now know those advisors had a very different take on it. I think they thought he was moronic, is the word that was used. We have much more in this morning's NBC News exclusive that takes us inside the Pentagon meeting in which the president called to dramatically increase America's stockpile of nuclear weapons. More on that one.